Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. Do you have any Quality Street left? You don't? Oh, you've got the toffee pennies. Of course you do. Now, we don't know what day of the week it is because it's just after Christmas. Who knows? But what we do know is we've got four players playing a festive week of House of Games to win this sort of wintry trophy. Mm. <laughs> Our players this week are Harry Judd, <laughs> Bemasola Ikamelo, you, Dennis, and Kerry Godleyman. Harry Judd, what a win yesterday. It's a good start. Yeah. Is there nothing McFly can't do? Anytime you see someone from McFly on any reality show, <laughs> they always win it. Don't you? You've... Danny didn't Danny didn't win MasterChef. Who did it, who beat him? Lisa Snowden. Lisa Snowden. Yes. And now she's in the band. She is. <laughs> she's been replaced. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Bemi, it was pretty impressive, wasn't it? It was, especially considering you said you were, like, low, average to low in terms of your expectation. So, um, yeah. what does that make all of us, is what yeah. I was thinking. Listen, we've all got the word in our head yeah. and none of us are saying it. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Free watershed. Uh, Hugh, now, yeah. you've won this show before. You got a trophy, yeah. but yeah. Uh, tough opposition, right? Really tough. I mean, really, I mean, I kept on thinking, is my buzzer working? But I think it probably was. He was just very fast. Yeah, very so fast. stuff knows a lot as well. Kerry, yesterday Harry won some House of Games slippers. Yeah. Would you? Yes, <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Uh, should we look at today's prizes though? Yeah. If you, <laughs> if you had a winter day, you could take home the festive dartboard, the duvet and pillow set, uh, the champagne flutes. You could have the sweets and a tin, or the dog bowls. What do you fancy there? I think I'd take the dog bowls. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it's not... I do you have, see do you... My, my dog eating from You have got dog. a dog. I have got a dog, That's yeah. good news. <laughs> Hugh, what would you go for? Wait, what is that thing in the right... Is that a flag? No, it's a, it's a duvet cover. Oh, it's a duvet cover. Did you want a flag? Yeah, I could use it as a flag. <laughs> you can't invent no. gifts. These are, the, these are the prizes. You can turn you it into a flag pick. if you want. <laughs> yeah, nice. OK, so Hugh Dennis is going to go for the House Against Flag. OK. <laughs> uh, Bemi, what would you go for? I would like the champagne flutes. Champagne, I don't yeah. drink, so I'm always... If anyone wants drinks when they come over, That's it's always idea. in a mug, and so... You, and you go, I want, I want these. Mm. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, Harry? I think I'd go for the sweet tin. The sweet... Yeah, yeah. don't you think? I don't know what the sweets are, but I bet they're... Um, no. It's more about the... Low quality. The fact that you can <laughs> reuse the tin. Yes, that's very true. Um, the weekly leaderboard looks like this. Harry, of course, at the top of it after yesterday's performance. But it can and will all change across the week. Our first round on day two this week is... <laughs> Highbrow, lowbrow. Harry, we'll start with you. I will ask you two questions. They will have the same answer. The first question will be a highbrow question. The second question will be a lowbrow question. You get two points if you get it from the highbrow one and one point if you get it from the lowbrow one. Your highbrow question is... The works of which Olivier award-winning opera lyricist include a 1985 co-translation of Don Giovanni and librettos such as Bliss and The Silver Tassie. Hmm. 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 Merry <laughs> Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Um, I think we'll go lowbrow, don't you? Yeah, not going to go for any of your favourite opera lyricists there. I have too many, Richard. Yeah, to choose to from. To choose from. You so... don't want to upset people. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go lowbrow. So different questions, same answer. Which Britain's Got Talent judge played Sarah Trevanian in the ITV drama Wild at Heart? Uh, I would assume that it would be Amanda Holden, and Holden sounds like a name potentially of a... Could be Amanda Holden, couldn't it? Let's yeah. see, is Amanda Holden the answer to both of those? It is. Well done. I'm just imagining the delight on the question writers' faces when they discovered that someone called Amanda Holden had uh, won an <laughs> Olivier Award in 1985. <laughs> They're thinking, oh, yeah, we got that for highbrow, lowbrow. <laughs> uh, Bemi, a highbrow question for you now for two points. What is the name of the rural inn that features in a 1937 oil painting by Stanhope? Forbes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go lowbrow. You're going to go lowbrow? Yeah. Don't, don't want to show off? Yeah, no, no. I just, yeah, yeah save I hear. it. I'm yeah. going to go with the other brow. Yeah, thank you. Thank We're going to go, yeah. Brow. Yeah, yeah brow. <laughs> Diane Sugden and Charity Dingle have owned which pub in Emmerdale? Emmerdale. Uh, is it called Woolpack? Is it the Woolpack? 
That answers both questions. Oh well done. Well, I don't know where that came <laughs> from. Right. That where did that come just, from? Yeah. Well done. And that must have oh, been in the background when you were doing homework <laughs> at some point. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> uh, Hugh, your highbrow question is this. Yes. In 2011, the Turner Contemporary Art Gallery opened in which seaside resort? Margate. Hello. Let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Which seaside town did Chaz and Dave sing about in a 1982 hit single? Margate. Sticking with Margate for two points. It is Margate. Very well done. The Turner and Chaz and Dave was Margate centric. Kerry, two pointer for you. Okay. Built in the early 17th century, the Jacobean house Gorthop Hall is located in which UK county? It's not going to happen on the highbrow. Do you just want to guess a county? You can change it. Staffordshire. Staffordshire. Yeah. I was trying to think of a county that might have a lowbrow question. <laughs> I'm trying to... I love Staffordshire, He's but what's boy. the lowbrow question that Staffordshire <laughs> is the answer to? Um, but let's find out. Your lowbrow question is... The star of Happy Valley is Sarah who? Lancashire. Is it Lancashire? It absolutely is. Well Although Sarah Staffordshire is a good, good is a good name. Stage name. Harry, we come back to you for a two-pointer. Another highbrow question. The first woman to pilot an aircraft across the English Channel in 1912 was Harriet who? Oh, goodness. Uh, let's go, Harriet Jennings. Does it also fit this question? In The Simpsons, what's the surname of the mayor of Springfield? Oh, mayor. It's there, mayor. Mayor... Sp sp oh, d d no. Should we stick with Jennings? You know, it's yeah. Points, then. Oh, how frustrating. Is it Jennings? It is not. Anybody? Yes, Bemmy. Quilby? It's not. That's principal, isn't it? Oh! Anybody? Let's take a look. It is Quimby, Quimby. we were looking. That was so ah. close. It's one letter, but that's, that is a difference between Pirates of the Caribbean and Pilates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's all I'm saying. Bemi, it is your question now. <laughs> okay. For two points. In 1897, the Czech composer Julius Fucic composed the military march entitled Entry of the What? Entry of the Falcons. So, Falcons, let's see your lowbrow question. Competitors known as Jet, Wolf and Nightshade first appeared in which ITV game show in 1992? Gladiators. Is it Gladiators? <laughs> Absolutely right. Very well done, Gladiators. Hugh, I have a two-point question for you. Oh, yeah. It looks like this. In the Thomas Hardy novel, Tess of the D'Urbervilles, what is the first name of the title character's idealistic husband whom she meets while working as a dairy maid? So, Tess's husband? Yeah. I don't know. Let's say, uh, Charles. Charles. Your lowbrow question is... What's the title of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer spin-off in which Buffy's ex is the lead character? I know nothing about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Should we time you out? Yeah, time me well, out. Do you want to stick with Charles? Well, I, yeah. Might as well. It's clearly look not at, Charles. Look at these two, yeah. <laughs> it's beginning to look like it's not Charles. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not Charles. Let's find out. Is it Charles? It is not. No, is it anybody? Harry beats Bemmy. I, I don't... It can't be this, but I feel like the spin-off was called Angel. Is it Angel? It is Angel. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Kerry, a question for you, two-point question for you, and it is this. The name of which country appears in the title of a 1936 Daphne du Maurier novel set on Bodmin Moor? Do you want to guess a country? I would guess... Jamaica? Interesting guess. Let's take a look at your lowbrow question. Cool Runnings is about the Winter <gasps> Olympics Jamaica. debut of which country's bobsleigh team? It's Jamaica. It I, must oh, have been in your head. You yeah, must it was have. in there somewhere. Yeah, Jamaica yeah. In, yeah, it was in there, but it wasn't in order. Is it Jamaica? Mm. 
Absolutely. Jamaica in, of course, Daphne Du Maurier. Very well played. Terry gets off two points to end the round. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, shall we? Gave away some two pointers there. Uh, Harry, Bemisola, and Hugh, two points each. Kerry in the lead with three. Oh. How about three that? Let's move straight along, shall we, to our pairs game, which is. My perfect match. Now, three of you are in uh, second place. Uh, Bemi, why don't you choose a partner for this round? Um, I'm going to go with Kerry. Going to go with Kerry. So, Hugh and Bemi, if you will swap seats, please. Mm -hmm. You and Harry are a team, Bemi and Kerry are a team. In this round, you have to find me my perfect match, and you do it by combining two characteristics. So I'm looking for someone who has the two following qualities, please, gentlemen. This is for Hugh and Harry. I'm looking for someone who made a Christmas song with Noel Fielding and a member of Kasabian, but who also featured in Time Out's list of 50 people making London awesome. Let's find out who it might be. Is it Idris Elba or Riz Ahmed? Which of those two fulfills those two characteristics? I know Idris Elba. Uh, Elba. Idris Elba. <laughs> sorry. I, know Idris I know Idris Elba. Elba. I, know I don't know really Idris well. Elba. <laughs> but <laughs> well, he's probably. I imagine he is in the list of fifty people making London awesome. And I know he loves music and plays a bit of guitar. Because I saw him interviewing. I think Paul McCartney, maybe. I think it was so. Should we go with yes, Idris? Idris? You think Idris? Idris Elmer, not Elba, though. Yeah, no, Idris Elba, Elmer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you reckon at home? Do you agree, disagree? Is Idris Elba my perfect match? <laughs> Absolutely right. Very well done. Yeah. They're both on the list of people who made uh, London awesome, but he provided the rap on I Can't Wait for Christmas by Noel Fielding and Kasabian. Bemi and Kerry, um, I wonder if you could find me a new perfect match, please. Someone who combines these two qualities. Somebody who had a cameo role in a Stormzy music video and is a former computer programmer. Who does that apply to? Is it Mallory Blackman or Louis Theroux? See, I can imagine Stormzy wanting Mallory Blackman in his video, but then Louis Theroux just shows up randomly rapping and, and doing stuff. I can imagine that... Louis Theroux is a former... I don't think he was a former computer programmer, but I could imagine Mallory Blackman was a former computer programmer. Yeah. You're going to go Mallory Blackman? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you, they both appeared in a Stormzy video. Oh, God. But only one of them was a former computer programmer. You've gone for Mallory Blackman, is that right? <laughs> it is absolutely right. Well done, <laughs> Mallory Blackman. A point for Kerry and Bemi. Gentlemen, another perfect match for you. I'm looking for somebody who attended public school and who also <laughs> appeared in a reality gardening show in his own garden. Is it Hugh? OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's my perfect match. Noddy Holder or Shane McGowan? Whoa. Shane McGowan was at public school. Was he? Yeah. I don't know whether Noddy Holder was at I, I don't public know. School. I don't know either. Has Shane McGowan done some reality shows? I... I know Shane McGowan was born on Christmas Day and Noddy Holder had the biggest yes, Christmas hit. Yes, Christmas that hit of all know. time. So it's, it's very Christmassy. But, but what that's are we completely reckon? irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's interesting. Yeah. And Shane, Shane McGowan had a big Christmas you... hit too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're yeah. quite right. Yeah, yeah, he did. I forgot about yeah, he did. that. <laughs> That's yeah, what no, I thought no, you were getting. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Is yeah. it that they both went to public school? You know, like, sometimes it's often... Yeah. They both appeared in a Stormzy video. Yeah. Or is it that they want us to think that it would be Noddy that went to public school? Oh, it's mind But it's games. actually Shane. It's mind games. So, I, th I would go with Shane. Yes, I think so. You're going to go Shane? that logic, yeah. What do we think at home on this one? Do you think it's Shane McGowan as well? So, Shane McGowan, <laughs> is he my perfect match? <laughs> Absolutely, well done. Yeah, yeah went to uh, Westminster School and uh, did a, an Irish reality gardening show with his future wife. Victoria and Shane Grow Their Own, it was called. Grow Their Own. Bear me and Kerry, final question in this round. My perfect match uh, needs to have both of these things. Uh, someone who was a contestant on Countdown in 2008 uh, and is over six feet tall. OK. 
is my perfect match? Greg Davies or Alex Horn? What do we think, well, Bemi and Kerry? I mean, I've never met Alex Horn in real life. Is he over six feet tall? He might be, but Greg's just is taller. Yeah. Is this a celebrity count? No, it's the regu regular countdown. A regular countdown. So it was before they were a celebrity? I guess, yeah. If you can imagine such a thing. I started out in stand-up <laughs> with Greg in 2003. I reckon he was a celebrity by 2008. Yeah. I think, think Greg maybe was a celebrity by 2008. Maybe. So when was Alex? in between? Couldn't it be something easier, like oh, yeah. one of them wears glasses? When was, when was in between? <laughs> We're taking too long. <laughs> we are taking so... Let's... Uh, OK, I think, I think Greg... Let's go, Greg, is, sim... is the easy answer. Because he's tall. Because he's tall. But I can't second-guess the countdown. We're going, Greg. You're going, Greg? What do you think at home? Oh, you agree? No. You disagree? Is my perfect match Greg? <laughs> it is Alex, no! I'm afraid. Yeah, he always looks short because he's always photographed next to Greg, but he's 6'2". Yeah. Six, six That's yeah. what, the joke Alex. of little Alex Horn. Yeah, In between is was like 2005 as yeah, well. He yeah, was he would have been, yeah, but Alex yeah. was, uh, was on countdown. That's the end of that round. Bemi and Hugh, if you'll swap back, please. A big <laughs> win yesterday for Harry, but take a little look at this leaderboard. Three for Bemisoda, four for Harry, Hugh and Kerry. That's close, isn't it? Very nice indeed. Let's go straight on to round three, shall we? Today it is... There's a cat on my keyboard. Now, in this round, I'm going to show you three things. You have to buzz in and tell me what connects them. Unfortunately, when our question writers were writing them down, a cat ran over their keyboard, <laughs> OK? So they look a bit messy, but they will get simpler as we go on. Now, we always have a picture of one of the question writer's cats on this. This is Tom's cat, Twig. Uh, so Twig, unfortunately, ran over Tom's keyboard as he was writing out those clues. But what connects these, please? And buzz in when you can work them out. Yes, Harry? Board games. How have you done that? What? This is Scrabble and Black. Wow. wow. Backgammon, Cluedo oh and Scrabble. God, this is not going to work out well, well for me. I know, right? I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> no, out. I, I'm out. I'll I am out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what connects these, please? Written by Tom and Twig. Huh. Yes, that is you. Uh, I think they are um, the reindeer, aren't they? Are they Santa's reindeer? They are Cupid, Rudolph and Dasher. Um, next one. What connects these? Yes, Harry. Tennis players? Are they tennis players? No. They're not, I'm afraid. Yes, Kerry. Musical instruments. Ah, well done. The xylophone, banjo and accordion. Uh, next one. What connects these? Yes, Bemmy. Fairy tale characters. Fairy tale characters? It is Cinderella, Goldilocks and Rapunzel. Well done. Final question in this round. What connects these? Yes, you. Are they... I'm sorry. Tools? They are not tools, I'm afraid. Oh, There's a wrench. Uh, yes, Kerry. Birds. Oh, yes, they are. Yeah, you're right. See Ren and Sparrow, Blackbird at the bottom. Ren, Sparrow and Blackbird, absolutely. That's the end of that round. We all turned out to be OK at that in the end. Oh. Round of applause for Twig the Cat. <laughs> Thank you, Twig. Well done. The leaderboard, three rounds in, looks like this. It's lovely and close still. Look at this. Bema Solo, you have four. Harry and Hugh, five points each. Kerry in the lead with six. Wow. Wow. What a turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> They should have you doing, like, the, the hype at the football. <laughs> wow. What, a, <laughs> what Whoa, a turnaround. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two rounds to go. Let's find out who's going to win this second day of the week, shall we? Our next round is... 
Flamingo pot plant, middle march. In this round, you not only have to give the answer to the question I ask, you have to give the answer to every single question that's been asked so far in order. How many, how many <laughs> questions will there be? Uh, 70. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall we? Fingers on buzzers, everyone. The first oh, one is uh, nice and easy. Oh. Just have to answer this. What is the first name of the actor who won Strictly Come Dancing in 2021 with Giovanni Panice? Harry. Rose. Rose is correct. That's your first answer. So the next one, you say Rose and then your answer. Which sign of the zodiac has a name that comes from a Latin word meaning archer? Yes, Bemi. Rose Sagittarius? Rose Sagittarius. Correct. Next one. Sydney is the capital city of which Australian state? That is Hugh. Rose Sagittarius, New South Wales. Rose Sagittarius, New South Wales? Correct. Next one. Which former greengrocer first appeared as a judge on MasterChef in 2005 alongside John Tarode? Harry. Rose Sagittarius, New South, New South Wales and um, Greg Wallace. Correct. Next one. In snooker, which colour ball is worth three points? Bemi. Uh, Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace and... Pink? Incorrect, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, Harry. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Brown. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Anybody? Yes, Kerry. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, and... Is there a blue ball in snooker? There is a blue ball in snooker. Is it the blue? It's not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Hugh, do you fancy it? Um, Hugh. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Green. Is the correct oh. answer. Wow. You only left. And that's what we call a total clearance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well done, Hugh. Next question. Charlotte Dujardin has won three Olympic gold medals for Team GB in which equestrian discipline? <laughs> yes, Hugh. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Green, show jumping. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Anybody else? Yes, Bemi. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Green, Polo. It's also incorrect. I love this round. Yes, Harry. Rose, Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Green, Dressage. Correct <laughs> answer, Harry. It was Dressage. Final question in this round. Which boy band had UK top ten hits in the 90s with Keep On Moving and Everybody Get Up? <laughs> yes, Harry. <laughs> Bemi, you got for that so quickly. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> Sagittarius, New South Wales, Greg Wallace, Green, Dressage, Five. Correct answer. Well played, Harry. Nice end to the round. Nicely done. Your leaderboard looks like this, just four points between everybody with one round to go. Bema Solo, you have five. Kerry, six. Hugh, seven. Harry, yesterday's winner, back out in the lead with nine. How about that? One round to go before we find our second winner of the week, this festive week on House of Games in that weird time of the year between Christmas and New Year. Um, no idea what day it is, but I do know what our final round is. It is... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for a correct <laughs> answer. Don't forget, point off for an incorrect answer in this one. Harry, you're in pole position. Can you be caught? Let's find out. Your first category is... Sweet treats. Which traditional calculating device consists of a frame holding rows of sliding beads? Yes, you. Abba custard cream. Abacus custard cream, Abacus custard cream. Go on, Abacus custard cream. <laughs> Go on, just one. Uh, next one. 
in the Bible, the figure 666 is known as the number of the what? Yes, Bemi. Uh, Easter egg. It is. Wow. <laughs> I was thinking the, I was thinking the devil. devil. Yeah. I was thinking that's not a deviled egg. <laughs> devil egg. Surely. It's very good. Uh, number of the beast and Easter egg, beaster egg, next category. Fireplace accessories. <laughs> I mean, are there that many? It's we'll find out, yeah. I guess. Um, here's your first one. What verb meaning to block or obstruct is also the name of a style of shoe with wooden soles? Yes, you. Clog baskets. Clog baskets? It is. Oh. Clog and log basket. This leaderboard is looking interesting. Next clue, next picture. The fourth novel in the Harry Potter series featuring the Triwizard Tournament is Harry Potter and the what? Have you got it? Have Harry's gone for it. Harry Potter and the Fire Guard of... You lose a As point, Harry. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Fire I was God. hoping it would Were come to me. Were you going to say the fire god, fire god of Azkaban? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> uh, let's yeah. take a look, shall we? We were looking for the goblet of fire guard. Okay. That's what we were looking for. Goblet of fire <laughs> and fire I thought guard. that was like a dressing, like a separating thing for oh, yeah. dressing. Uh, next clue, next picture. In the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz, what is the name of Dorothy's dog? <laughs> Harry's gone for it. No, I shouldn't have, because I get lose a point, you don't do, I? You do, yeah. Unless you get it I right, in which case you get a point. Toto prong. Toto prong? <laughs> <laughs> it's Toto. It's so toasting. not. It was the prong of Azkaban. Yeah. I was going to go, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I forgot that you Is lose that a toast? point. Anyone? Toe toasting fork. Well, you haven't. Anyone want to buzz in? Oh. Venezuela? Toe toasting fork? Is it toe toasting fork? It is, Benny. It's the posting court. Very well done. <laughs> well, Do you know what? That makes up for Quilby. All that. Yeah, I know. Way back at the beginning. Of the I like your thing. There you go. I completely forgot. I didn't forgot. hear you say. You lose a point. It was oh. taken into consideration. Uh, yeah. uh, Toto and toasting fork. Any more? <laughs> no more today. Uh, Harry was our winner on the first show of the week. Who has won today's show? It is Hugh Dennis. Hugh, very well done. Nicely played. You. Uh, you've won yourself a festive prize as well. What would you like? I mean, I've talked about it before. I'd like the massive flag, please. <laughs> OK, Hugh Dennis wins the massive house against festive flag. Congratulations, Hugh. Uh, you get a pillow to go with it. You know, flag and pillow. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. The flag and <laughs> pillow of Azkaban. They it's call a, them. It's a big flag and a little flag, yeah. Oh, yeah, Actually, perfect. can I change it to the dog bowl? Of course you can have the dog bowl. Hugh Dennis wins the House Against Dog Bowl. Have you got a dog? Yeah. Phew. Um, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Two days in. We have three days to go. Double points final as well. Uh, Kerry with three, Bema Soda with five, Hugh and Harry, seven points each. Thank you so much, everyone. Shall we do the same tomorrow? Yeah. Look forward to seeing you all here. Look forward to seeing you as well on the House of Games. <laughs>